Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. Today I have for you the TerraMaster D2 310. This is a direct attached storage device uh, that you put two hard drives in. This is a two bay. They also have four bay and a whole bunch of other bays. But this is the two bay version. And you can put hard drives in here and depending on how you set up the RAID uh, or the configuration, you can get uh, a lot of storage on here. I have two six terabyte Western Digital red drives in here. So I can have up to 12 terabytes of storage and that's a lot of storage. It's great for photographers and people who have a lot of media because the transfer speeds are very quick. It has two wires that it comes with. It has a USB-C to USB-C. So on your newer MacBook Pros and your newer Samsung uh, Windows PCs, uh, you have just USB Cs. You can use this wire and transfer very fast. Uh, you can also have a USB C to a USB 3.0, like uh, a lot of the computers still out there, and you could transfer files from your PC and Mac and and transfer them right onto this hard drive. Now. I'm going to show you around the box first, and then I'm going to explain to you all the different RAID modes that you can put this in. I'll give you a little bit of detail so you understand uh, what you're getting into. So it comes with a pamphlet like this, and it tells you pretty much to go to startterra-master.com. And it's pretty much just to tell you how to uh, travel through and uh, set up all your, you know, the two drives that you have on there. It also comes with a bag of screws. I'm using eight of them right now, but it comes with extra ones. It's got this little screwdriver uh, that you can change the different RAID modes in the back. And then it's got the reset uh, tool, so you can reset uh, if you decide later to go from RAID 0 to RAID 1 or whatever. So let me show you in the back first so I can explain a little bit about RAID and things like that. So in the back here, we have a dial back here that you use that little mini screwdriver and you turn the arrow to what uh, one of the four settings that you can use. It's got RAID 1, it's got single, it's got JBOD, and it's got RAID 0. It's got the power right there. You can hook up that USB-C wire and the other end goes to your computer. It's got a nice little fan that only runs when it needs it. Um, so I saw other videos where it says it runs all the time, but it doesn't. Uh, it stops. It's got the little feet on the bottom and some vent holes. Uh, and in the front here, we got a power button. And the power button is good because it will uh, be able to power off by pressing that and it'll just shut off and the drives will disappear. And you use uh, Windows Explorer and Finder to uh, you know, access the drive uh, when it's plugged in and powered on. So uh, we have the indicator lights here for drive one and drive two and they'll blink when there's activity. There's a power button that lights up so you know how to power it up. Now, let me explain the four different uh, RAID modes, okay? So first of all, let me take out the drive so I can use visuals to explain it to you. So here's how it works. If you set this two six terabyte red Western Digital drives to RAID zero, now, what's going to happen is when the data comes in from the wire, it's going to uh, stripe it. It's going to go, some information will go on this, some will go on this, some will go on that, some will go on this. But basically, you get the 12 terabytes, and it shows up as one volume, like one hard drive letter on your computer. Uh, it's very fast. Uh, it's probably the fastest way. Uh, but it does have to write to both disks, and it both has to read from both disks. There is no redundancy when it comes to RAID 0. So if you have RAID 0 and you lose one of the drives, you're going to lose everything because some information's on here and some information's on here. It's fast, you get 12 terabytes but and one volume, but you uh, will lose stuff if one of the drives fails, okay? That's RAID 0. Now RAID 1, RAID 1 is a mirror of one drive to another. You only get six terabytes when using these two drives, but it mirrors the information that's on one drive to another. Uh, so that if one of the drives goes, you still have your six terabytes of stuff 
uh, on one of the drives, whether it's this one or this one. Okay, so that's much slower because it's got to write to both drives, it's got to read to both drives, and it's got to do everything double. So we've got a little bit slower speed, but you get a copy of your information. Now, there's another setting called JBOD. Now, JBOD, um, you're going to get one volume, 12 terabytes, okay? But it will have no redundancy, meaning you're not going to be able to, uh, you know, if one drive fails, have it on another drive saved. It's going to save it on one drive. Maybe it'll save a whole file on this drive. Maybe it'll save a whole file on that drive. But you're going to have 12 terabytes. Now, JBOD is great if you're using, like, two different drives uh, that are different sizes. So you'll get 500, and this one's 320, so you're going to get a total of 820 uh, terabytes, or I should say gigabytes in this case. So we're going to get uh, a com combination. They don't have to be exactly the same size each, and you can just put a whole bunch of drives, but it will make one volume for you with no redundancy, no copy. Uh, you lose one, you lose everything. Then there is the next configuration, which is called single. Now single, uh, you'll have two separate drives, two separate drive letters uh, to each one of the drives that's inside this uh, device. So you will have no redundancy, no copy. Uh, there'll be two separate volumes, like six terabyte and a six terabyte drives, you know, D and drive E or whatever. And it will be, uh, you know, just independent uh, from everything, okay? So the only way you're gonna get a copy is, is if you do RAID uh, 1. If you do RAID 1, you make a copy and they mirror each other. So I hope that helps to explain all the four different settings that you can set this to. So now let's go on the PC and we're going to uh, figure out how, you know, what happens when you first go to that website on the uh, pamphlet here. And it's very easy, it walks you through it. There's a compatibility uh, section on the website. I'm gonna leave all the links in the description. Okay, so we have the uh, website that you need to set up this device. So we're gonna do the D2310. And we're gonna hit start. And what it's gonna tell you is that you should format the drives first. So we're going to power on the unit by pressing the button on the front. And it's gonna power up. It's gonna check what mode you have it set to. And it's going to pop up and say that you need to initialize it, okay? So I currently have it set up to single. So two dialogues are going to pop up, and it's going to say initialize, initialize. So we can hit initialize, initialize, and you're going to see, because it's on single, that you're going to have uh, two separate drives uh, independent from each other, okay? So let me now power it off. I'll power it off, and I'm going to switch the dial to... Uh, RAID 0. So let me go to RAID 0. Okay. And now I'm going to pin the reset button as I power up. So I'm going to power up and I'm going to hit the reset button for 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let it go. And now it's going to look at what you have set in the back. And it's going to pop up these dialogue a uh, one dialog that shows oh, sorry about that um, I have to wait for it to be powered up I switched it over and now I'm gonna hit the reset button so one two three four five alright so it disappeared uh, from our list and now we get to hit initialize now you see that there's only one drive showing up which is going to be the two six terabyte uh, equaling 12 terabytes okay so now we're gonna erase this so anything that you have on these drives are gonna be erased so we'll un we'll just do um, 12 terabyte we'll call it uh, you can call it whatever you want we're gonna have an extended journal because we're using a Mac here and you can pretty much set it up to whatever uh, format you want uh, whether you're using Windows or Linux or whatever uh, you'll be able to set it up the way you want to set it up
uh, basically it's just like having an external hard drive so it's going to ask you to want to use this for time machine and I'm just going to say don't use I just want to use it as a gigantic volume uh, that I connect to my computer so it's all done uh, the drive shows up here as 12 terabytes and there you have it so we have a nice uh, hard drive there now just to show you a little bit about speed uh, I'm I have a movie uh, file here uh, we'll get info and it's one gigabyte so let's see how fast it takes for one gigabyte to go over now I'm using USB 3.0 to the USB C in the back of uh, the drive and I'm gonna push it over so let's see how long it takes look at that what is that like four seconds over a NAS uh, which is all over your Wi-Fi that takes forever but look how fast I I pushed over one terabyte let's do it again ready we're gonna keep both one two three four five about four or five seconds very very quick now these two files are right on that uh, enclosure of 12 terabytes to play with uh, you can't beat that so that's pretty pretty good all right, so now that we have them initialized to whatever way you want them, we could skip to the next step. So we'll skip and uh, we'll hit start now. It's going to give you that warning. We'll go whoop, go that way and we'll go this way. So now it's going to tell you that you could download the manual or you could do the quick installation video. It's somebody's video showing you a little bit more about it, but you're watching this one and I'm going to show you how to do it. So you install the hardware. All right, it, it tells you to insert them in the tray and all that stuff. So you can create the RAID. It tells you about the different uh, different sets that you want to do. It tells you step by step how to do it. So we'll go to the next step. This is for Windows. This is how you initialize. This is basically how you you're going to format uh, the drives before you start using them. And then this is the Mac version of how to use uh, disk utilities to initialize. And basically that's it. Done deal. Uh, basically you didn't even need that but I just wanted to show you the steps to go through it so now look at this drive 12 terabytes it's unbelievable um, we can make a bunch of folders in there you can make like a video folder a documents folder or whatever and this drive is small enough uh, and light enough that you could just take it with you wherever you want to go um, my next thing is I'm gonna hook it up to my NAS in one of the USBs and I want to see if it actually shows up as 12 terabytes uh, and I'll put that in the description. So if you're interested in something like this, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I will get back to you very fast. If you know me, I get back to you really, really quick. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.